Hello, my name is Randy Ripke. I'm the developer of Task Builder Cloud. The following video will help explain features of the program. If you have any questions, please feel free to email or call. I hope you enjoy your use of Task Builder Cloud. Hello, this is Randy Ripke. I'm the developer of Task Builder Cloud. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss ACH processing with uh, Task Builder Cloud. Let's start by going into Customer Maintenance, and we'll bring up 4001 here. And the first change you'll see when you go to um, add a payment ID, everything works very similar to a credit card, but now you'll see options for ACH. So notice the ACH tab here, and it now has fields for ACH style information. Now the ACH field requirements vary from gateway to gateway. So you'll see different fields populating here based on if you're using authorized.net versus Sage or USA ePay. Oops. If only Randy could type. Okay. So for example, here we need a routing number and an account number and the type of checking account or savings account. And when we save, we'll see a couple things happen here. Now notice the ACH populated next to the auto charge button and also the last four digits of the credit card number and the expiration date went away because with ACH we don't have those. Uh, if you want to charge now, we can set it up for auto charge and it works again just like a credit card. The next place you're going to see a difference will be in payment posting. So if we bring up an account that has ACH set up, first of all, you'll see on the, on the credit card charge, you'll see ACH processing here available now too. So you have an, an option here to manually enter uh, ACH information and process an ACH payment the same way you would manually enter a credit card information or process a card payment. If the client is set up with a gateway profile, then you also have the option to process an ACH payment profile, this will change from credit card to ACH based on the type of information you have in their profile. Now when setting these up, there's a few more things in the background to set. I would go into miscellaneous maintenance and over here on the other tab on payment methods, if you have a auto credit card feature, you may want to change that to say you know, auto payment. Just be a little more generic about um, the type of account payment that the client sees on their receipt. The next thing is on ACH, you may want to send receipts automatically when you process them from payment posting. Again, up to you, but it can work just like credit cards. Most of us have credit cards set with the auto receipt when you process a credit card manually. I would suggest doing the same thing with ACH. And then lastly, in company file maintenance, on the payment processing tab, you'll see different options here also based on which gateway you have, but you can also turn ACH payments on and off. Depending on how much volume you're processing through ACH, the related fees may or may not be practical for you. Uh, if you're doing a lot of ACH, the fees will be very nominal and it's definitely a preferred way to go as far as the fees go. But if you're, if you're only doing one or two, it may or may not be worth automating that through your gateway. I would check with your, your merchant provider uh, before enabling this. Uh, there, there may also be applications to fill out and settings on the, on the merchant side to allow your account to process an ACH through Task Builder Cloud. Now let's look at the differences the client will see when they get their uh, invoice in the email and they click on the Review and Pay Now button. The online payment windows now have an option for ACH or credit card. So if the client chooses to pay by ACH, again they'll have different information to fill out based on your, your merchant gateway and they can still sign up for auto charge uh, to their bank account if they, if they choose to do so. Uh, a very nice feature. I've seen quite a few people take advantage of this and it's, uh, it's kind of a handy thing to have it fully automated. Um, if you have any questions, this concludes the video on ACH processing. As always, give me a shout or shoot me an email and have a nice week. Thank you.